Let's build our artistic skills with brushes and paints. Hi, I'm your host, Julie Faith Ann Balzer, and art is near and dear to my heart. It's always best to start with the techniques you are most familiar with. And up first is returning artist Rebecca Meyer to cut her own stencils to make a painted collage. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Julie. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure because you always bring the most beautiful things. I'm looking at this collage oh, that you've you. created. Thank it's amazing. You. So how do we get started? Well, to get started, we're going to do a collage background with simple items. I've used a uh, telephone book page. How do you even find a telephone book these days, I, by the way? I collect them, you know, because so, they're dying out. So, you know, I have a stack of them at home and also some tissue paper. Great. And so while you're gluing all that, for people who aren't familiar with collage, mm -hmm. uh, will you tell us what the fancy word collage essentially means? Uh, collage is putting different types of papers and textures together yep. to create, you know, a collage background of, there's really no rules to collage. Mm -hmm. It's just um, putting, you know, paper down with, with a glue or... So then again, what you're using is not paint, but... Gel medium. So I have put this down and I would let it dry. Um, and then you have something like this, which I've already started. I've also put for decoration some butterflies, paper butterflies. They're beautiful. That I uh, cut out. And I also started to add some color. So this, again, is very, very easy to do, to add color. I always start with a lighter color, because um, you can always go darker. So I'm going to wet my round brush. Um, these are some um, thin bo bodied acrylics. They're super fluid. They almost look like watercolor. Yeah, they're so thin, but they're, they're definitely acrylic. Almost, almost like an ink consistency. Mm. So as you can see, I'm just going to lay some color on. And are you working with the canvas tilted so that th it rolls down? Yes. I like um, a dripped effect. So I would, to uh, add another color, I would just, you know, wet my... I always use the same bowl until it gets too muddy. Me, me too. My, my water always ends up being sort of looking like coffee, and as long as I don't drink yeah. it, and you can okay. see it's, it's really easy just to add some, you know, nice drip Oh, the drips drip look fantastic. And you could also do this with a, a spray bottle. And then I just go back and uh, pat it with a paper towel um, until, you know, I'm happy with the composition of, of the um, background and the elements. So next, we are going to cut a stencil. Well, you said the magic words because you know me and stencils. Yes. I love them. Yes, so I do too. I know that you found this coffee image, Actually, right? it's a coffee, actual coffee image from my coffee cup. Like a coffee ring on your table. So we've just yes. put it right into our electronic cutter, and we're going to go ahead awesome. and turn that into a cutting file so that we can actually make a stencil. Now, I know that you and I love to make stencils. Yes. And why do you love to make stencils? So, can, so I can have variety and I can make it out of um, everyday items. You know, the ability yeah. to do that. Because that's the thing, like you see that coffee ring every day right. and then it, when it becomes part of your art, it's mm -hmm. like your art becomes even more personal. Yes. I always yes. think that there's something wonderful about when you can create truly authentic images. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about making your own stuff. It's great to buy stuff and trust me, I buy plenty, yes, but I it's do even better, yes. right? When you can Very actually personal. just go ahead and make a really personal yes, image, definitely. which is cool. So once the we have our file, then we're gonna go ahead and turn it into a cutting file just by dragging in the arrows over here, nice and tight around that cool mm -hmm. coffee ring. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And then once my file is saved, I'm ready for some exciting magic, which is let's go ahead and cut this. Now, one of the things that I think is really cool is the fact that you actually told me we're gonna cut this stencil out of paper. Yes. Because I always think of a stencil as needing to be cut out of plastic mm -hmm. or something metal, something heavy and serious. Why do you like to cut stencils out of paper? I have a lot of paper at home and it's just easy to you know, reach into my stash. And um, I, I do use a cardstock or a lightweight watercolor paper usually. So, so something that's a little bit heavier is one of those things that's really, really helpful. Yes. So while this is cutting, I'm actually gonna give you one that we've pre-cut so you can show us some of your stenciling techniques. Yes, definitely. So once it's cut, you can see that I've used this one before. So I'm just gonna load uh, just a foam brush mm -hmm. with it and then stencil it on, you know, eyeball it on your project where you would, would like to have it. 
and then just stencil it on. I kind of go randomly with my, you know, my brush and stenciling, but as you can see, it makes a really nice mark. And a lot of times I will use uh, writing. Mm -hmm. Also do the same same technique. Well, because I was going to say, I know that when you use writing, so for instance, we mm -hmm. have this stencil here, yes. which is made from this text, which you simply printed out of your computer. Yes. And of course, I have the stencil right here that we just cut, and mm -hmm. you can see how all how cool it is and how easy that was very to make. Very easy, very easy. So again, I would stencil this on. And I'll so, show you. Of course, you're just anything that you want, you can just scan it in like those letters. You just scan it first, cut it out, mm -hmm. boom, stencil. So we're talking about if you wanted to make butterflies, if you wanted to make, you know, anything that you're seeing around, that would right. be really cool. Right. And again, so personal, because you could use your own handwriting. Exactly. You could use your child's handwriting. Anything. Anything goes at this point, that's what makes it a clash. Because yeah. you can put anything you want. And a nice little tip that I like to do is see how the lines are not connected because it's a stencil because it's a stencil it has to be that way I just um, connect them so it looks like it was actually um, like drawn, drawn on there on. or stamped on there right, or something like right, that that's an right. awesome tip I love right. that mm -hmm. now I know you've got one last tip for us a very quick one I like to add a little bit more texture so I would just add a foam stamped image uh, to complete cool. and I like circle it's perfect yeah. thank you so much Rebecca thank you